Team Fortress 2 recently released the 2023 Summer Update, and along with it, smashed its previous all-time player count from 150,000 to over 250,000. All of the maps are great from a visual standpoint, and mostly fun to play on. There are some decent taunts, Good shot. and nice cosmetics. How often does a train go by? So often you won't even notice it. Versus Saxton Hill becoming official was a fantastic addition. It's easily been some of the most fun I've had in TF2. Anyway, you might be familiar with my Trains of Team Fortress 2 video I made back in March of 2020. If not, I compared all the train models in TF2 to their real-life counterparts. So today, I'm going to do that but on a much smaller scale for the map Rotunda. Big thanks to the lead developer, Brockhouse, for giving me some insight on the map's development. Also, if you'd like to support the team, buy a map stamp. Link is in the description. 100% of the proceeds go to the map developers. Rotunda began development in November 2022 off the heels of a territorial control map called Hinterlands, also made by Brock. Its European setting gave him the idea to create a new map set in Germany, being a German himself. Rotunda first began as a recreation of the Rummelsburg Railway Roundhouse in Germany. Gameplay would focus around a moving turntable in the center, but the turning feature had to be cut due to it being too buggy for the Source engine. This element was inspired by a King of the Hill map called Roundhouse. Over time, the Rotunda dev team grew to all of these people, and by June, the map was accepted by Valve. Rotunda is loosely set in southeastern Germany, where both teams fight for control of an abandoned steam locomotive workshop. We see familiar models like the GP38-2, Boxcar, Hopper, flat cars, signals, and catenaries, all of which you can learn about in my Trains of TF2 video. Excluding the catenary towers, none of these are geographically accurate for the map setting, but TF2 is not a train simulator, so it's whatever. More German train models were planned, but time constraints forced the dev team to reuse assets. The first new model is this steam locomotive, based on the German National Railway Class 81. Only 10 of these 08 OTs were built in 1928. 60 more were planned to be built, but the order was cancelled with the onset of World War II. They were used in rail yards to switch around cars until being relocated to the maintenance shops at Goslar and Oldenburg. By 1945, all of them were based out of Oldenburg, and then fell under the ownership of the German Federal Railway in West Germany in 1949. They'd be retired by 1963 and eventually scrapped. Number 81004 is the sole survivor. It was moved to a railway museum in Bochum, West Germany, and now resides at the hessen Courier Railway Museum in Kassel, Germany, where the group intends to restore it. Back to TF2, the in-game model is pretty accurate, the main differences being the slanted water tanks meant to allow players to easily climb up it, knuckle couplers instead of a chain, and its overall design being simplified to fit TF2's art style. There's a red, blue, gray, and rusted variant, the red one being accurate to the real thing. The gray one being locked up in a shed for his crimes. The locomotive's whistle goes off when the point is captured, but the sound... A reused factory whistle sound from Foundry isn't accurate to a real Class 81. Also worth noting is the number, 816745. It's the signature of model maker FGD5. Next up is the long flat car holding the container of... whatever this is. Green bug juice? I don't know. It's a depressed center flat car based on a schnabel design. These specialized cars are used to handle oversized and sensitive loads. The last new model is this buffer stop. They're used to mark the end of a track and stop any trains from running off the line. It's a generic looking European design, and that's about all there is to it. Well, that's it for the new models, so let's take a look around at the map's other details. Inside the red spawn are three GP38-2 locomotives. 
There's also a door that says no entry, but with a bit of no clip, we can see it's an easter egg featuring the heavy and engineer, and some dev team names. There's also some cute little seal plushies. Out of bounds at Blue Spawn, there's a tank car retrofitted with a satellite setup of some kind. Just outside of both spawns is an infinite freight train. In the left tunnel, two random cars are spawned and then despawn in the right tunnel. The focal point of the map, the locomotive shop, is modeled after a full circle roundhouse, specifically the one in Rummelsburg, Germany, where locomotives are stored and maintained. They were primarily used during the era of steam locomotives, and there's not too many left around today. All the tracks lead to the turntable which acts as the control point. Rotunda has a bit of visual storytelling here and there too. There's oil slicks in the turntable pit and a locomotive is still raised up awaiting servicing, showing what the complex used to be. Both teams are still using the rail lines outside the roundhouse to ship stuff in and out, busted doors, the blue team lazily covering up red team markings on containers, and a red soldier with the intelligence and a forklift caught in some kind of building collapse. Poor forklift. These underground areas were inspired by Soviet and East German industrial facilities. I like to imagine whichever team wins would use their locomotive to pull the container out of the roundhouse. I also just noticed this little locomotive above the control point circling this inaccessible walkway. Ain't that cute. Rotunda is a pretty fun map to play on. It's very polished compared to some other maps we've gotten in this update. Every class seems to have good spots to play their respective roles at. Its layout is easy to learn and it has a strong and easily identifiable center point, with the railroad tracks guiding you to where everyone fights at. There's some great custom models and having another railroad oriented map is always unique and nice to see. But I suppose I'm a bit biased in that point. I'm definitely glad to see this map got accepted, but let me know what you think about it in the summer update in general. Well, that's all for me, so I'm going to get back to admiring how cute the seal on Selbian is. Look at her go. Thank you to my channel members. Special thanks to Grand Canyon Studios, Tommy Rosini, and Mooter for subscribing to the Conductor tier.